Hello everyone, Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. Market conditions obviously are, haven't changed since the, we had the day off yesterday, but let's reiterate what we're looking at. Currently this week, we have bullish in a bull market. That's been the overall tone. It's, uh, it's only strengthening currently. We're seeing the momentum indicator also continuing to be strong. We're, we've now seen the breadth indicator bump way up. It was stuck in that trending range, but it's also showing some nice strength now as well. Hasn't Neither have approached this extreme range, which says we probably have a little bit more upside to go. There's always that possibility of a, of a pullback before we continue, uh, uh, continue the overall uptrend. <clears throat> But that bias of buying the dips is still intact. Sentiment also is still uh, quite strong moving into this week. feels like a Monday, but um, um, currently, you know, uh, this overall uptrend intact. What are we at Wednesday today? Buy-sell ratio sitting here at um, uh, right above 2 not real strong yet, at least not real extended and extreme. So there's also some some upside to that as well. We could see some continuation in this overall market based on some of those indicators as well. The um, one of the things I noticed is, is um, the number of stocks that are in the hold range. So the buy sell ratio is going to only show obviously the number of buys to sells. It's not going to pick up the stocks that are in that hold range. So when you're looking at some stocks and you're looking for stocks that haven't made the move yet, for example, you can look maybe NASDAQ 100. You've got this 24 right here. You click on that. That's going to pull up all the stocks that are that have a hold signal. And they look, you know, they're going to look something like this, like Adobe. <coughs> Excuse me, they've got a, you know, this counter trend move. It's been in a strong uptrend. It actually dipped back into this hold range, but just barely. So typically, if you, you know, if you've got a good strong stock that's got a high rank and it's moving higher and it's stuck in that hold range, that might be one to add into the watch list so that you can then add an alert to it. And the day that it turns to a buy signal, you're going to get an alert on that. So for example, if I were to I were to add this stock right here onto my watch list. I just open this up and add it to whatever watch list. Let's, let's add it to the morning watch list. I can save and go to that watch list. So now I've got Adobe here and I can set up an alert for this stock so that if I click on that, it's going to say changes signal from hold to whatever. In this case, it would be hold to buy. So now I'm going to get an alert the evening that that moves from hold to buy. So if I'm looking through stocks that I like, but I want that confirmation bar and I want to see uh, uh, the actual move from hold to buy, then I've got to find it while it's still a hold and then put an alert on it to be able to get that, uh, that indication that it's making a move. It's a nice way to be able to track things that you're interested in and then also get a reminder once that has, has actually happened. Uh, let's jump over to the muscle stocks group and look over those one more time. We, uh, we looked at them yesterday, but I've got one other stock I wanted to focus on today, the new buy list, APLD. Really solid move has gone from a from a sell back to a buy, really in a straight line. So it's has, it has a, a lot of strength here and could potentially have some breakout to the upside. Good looking pattern. AEHR, uh, nice, a, a little nicer breakout pattern where it's actually cleared above these highs where it's right at it. And it's got a solid confirmation bar right here. So looking at those, you can either establish a stop loss at the low of that bar, which is going to be about a 7% stop loss, or at the low of the most recent hold signal. So in this case, you've got a potential stop loss clear down here around that 30. It's a lot wider stop loss, obviously. So it allows for a little bit more volatility. But if it's wrong and it reverses all the way back down and stops out, then it's a little bit wider stop. That may be too much risk for an initial trade that you might be wanting to establish. When you're dealing with risk parameters, you certainly every trade, you want to be able to know exactly where is your exit, where is your risk as you're setting up the trade. Once it starts moving and becomes profitable, you can adjust that. But in the beginning, you want to know, okay, if I'm wrong in the beginning and this doesn't continue, then what what am I going to what am I going to lose? How much am I going to lose? And so establishing that stop loss is very uh, very important. Very important. One of the others. Let, let's let's actually continue through some of these stocks. Uh, B E L F B, electronics, Crocs. We talked about this shortly yesterday, but. It's actually a really interesting stock and an interesting story. There might be some real possibility here 
uh, for some continuation of this overall uptrend. If we take a look at a little bit longer term chart, the two year chart, you can see during, you know, we had that big run up last year, retraced all of that and then had another big nice move here. So it's pulled back, have, have, having a decent retracement, finding some support now twice. If I go in just a little bit here, finding, finding this really this double support area Here's one, here's two, and this is over the course of quite a few days, and now we're getting a good solid confirmation bar. And this is a big enough followed stock that we could get some momentum and some continu uh, continuation out of this move. It's also really being talked about in social media where you're getting a lot of kids that are buying Crocs again. And so once that starts to take off with those with social media groups and kids sharing this and sharing the, uh, the, the, the images of their Crocs or, or whatever the current trend is, uh, that can sometimes push those stocks higher. I've mentioned this before, ELF, my daughter follows somebody on TikTok and they, are, they always promote these ELF cosmetics. Uh, they're sold in Target, I believe. So uh, these influencers are making a big difference and on some of these names uh, and being, being able to keep an eye on some of those it doesn't always it doesn't always equate to a, to a solid trend but sometimes it can just because it's additional eyeballs on a stock that may they might not have been paying attention to before so that'll do it for today's update everyone have a fantastic day today